so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's going to get in your face. He's going to try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hazuma, in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend has Bula Magomedov in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the prodigy, B. J. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mimogamera! Herb Dean, Wait, our right. referee for this right. one. Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Habib Mimogamera. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. come in terms of setting him up, and right away he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. Oh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. 
Nurmagomedov getting work here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, good arm bar attempt here. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Side control now. Oh, right into Mo. Continuing to look for openings here with Penn on the canvas. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Penn's in half guard. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. The ground strikes continue to pile up. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Side control now, and certainly I would think more. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he'll start the Oh, he's going to submit it. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Penn's pass is denied. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Good work from the top here by BJ Penn. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Stay in there, buddy. Read the pose. Use your footwork and let's get focused. 15 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> Ground and pound strike there now. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. Heading back to the corner now and... However, deliberately, Penn's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. Okay, listen, next round is very simple. Start loosening him up in the bottom. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. On oh, point with that jab today. Well, you don't want to say Khabib is falling in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful right hook counter. Guillotine jump. Well, that guillotine is officially tight. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Keep your hands up and keep that head moving. Head movement. 
Magomedov's pass attempt denied. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Now he's going full mount. Big right hook there by the champ. Changing the position. All right, has the guard closed here? Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Nermanko Medoff's in half goal. Lands with the grounded pound here. Penn's going for the sub here. Armin very tight. Nice strike from bottom position. This is a terrible position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. That is tight. Oh, man, that was slick. It's worth it. I'm going to stand this up. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Nermago Medov. Oh, now he's going to find himself with a little more danger. Close guard. Oh, hammer fist here by BJ Penn. Fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. It's okay. Keep your hands up. Keep your Under two minutes to go in our second round. Different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fight. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight there. I don't understand when you possess that skill, and you're so good on the ground, he's so strong in positions. He does such a great job of finding submissions. I don't know why he would spin the vast majority of the fight there. Tonight he is fighting a very confusing style of fight, and I just don't get it. Margo Medov's in half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Beautiful ground strikes land. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. I need you to scramble, scramble. There it is, now he's on the mount. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, that has got to be it. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is oh, he got out. Wow, that is amazing that he did not tap to that submission. He was in very deep, but he made slight movements, got off to the side, slipped his right arm out, and found safety. Great job defensively. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Nermago Medov. Back mount now. Oh, oh, All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. 
His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready. Go ahead. Nine three of a possible five. Great commitment to the kick game. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. So, Habib Nurmagomedov at his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown. Habib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's going to do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true. Because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it's got to be careful, Armbar. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now, he's advancing. Takes his back. Strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Keep those hands up for me. Keep those hands high. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Khabib's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Oh, good defense. Yes. Back in half guard. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Nermago Meadow. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Lamar working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle. A lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Well, he's got his back now. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. And again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes, because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Penn's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. back in half guard. Great submission defense. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Penn. He's got to be careful. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by BJ Penn. 
Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack it four bars. It's very good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmago Metal. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Penn's eye is really looking pretty bad after those five minutes. We'll see what the cut man can do about it. But if he doesn't get the swelling to subside, that eye could swell shut. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, Ready to fight. That is partly Ready. because his opponent is not defending. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good at round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the other. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. This could just about do it. Now he's back up. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Oh! single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the big shot. BJ Penn in a world of trouble here. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nurmago Medov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Oh, in the ball. So smart. Continue to go to that air. Oh, he's got his back. Under three minutes to go in round four. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nurmago Medov. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Nurmagomedov ground and pound from half goal. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. And very effective with the ground and pound. Two minutes now to go. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. There it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Nurmago Manov's right back to the full mount. I need you to get back to guard for me. Move your All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well played shot, right to the swell. Great job recognizing where he's hurt and going back to it. It looks like the official may need to call in the ringside position. 
great ground and pound by this man. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do is... Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Habib's back in full mount. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his eye is out of control. Cut man hustling in quickly, but I think they might stop this fight, DC. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight. Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, well timed overhand there by Nomago Meadow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's hurt. He's hurt. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. And blocks the shot there. Big inside kick. All right, quick pause in the action here. Hopefully this won't be the end of the fight, but some serious swelling around that eye, and I'm not sure the extent to which his vision has been compromised. I don't know how much he can see right now. He seems to be trying to find the opponent, but his spirit isn't broken. Doctor corrals the referee. It looks as though this fight will continue, at least for now. But certainly that swelling bears watching as we move forward. You ready to fight? You ready? You All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back on the way. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they quit. They start here. And sometimes, guys, the eye is hanging off the side of his head. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut, and it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Three minutes now to go to the side this one. Oh, this is some high level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Nermago Metal. He's having his way with him here. Oh, how about that strong reversal on the ground? Great job landing the strike from his back. Massive shot from the top. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Marco Medoff is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense.
Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nurmagomedov. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, so we go down the stretch. He is clearly losing this fight, and at this point, you just abandon position and go for submission, yes? Yeah, you gotta just go. You gotta start throwing things at the wall and hope something sticks. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds... Oh, he's wobbling now. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. It's pretty fast, Jack. Penn's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse as this fight continues. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. One minute to go in the fight. Mago Menov ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Let's go. We got a scramble. Mago Menov's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he's out. Work, guys. Come on. All right, side control now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. And ground and pound from half guard now. Oh, right into Mount. All right, try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great ball out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. The Ladies official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who is going to get their hand raised tonight when they get to the center of the octagon.